That's amazing. Okay, we'll have uh, Letitia come up here. Uh, I want to I want Letitia to read this letter. This letter was uh, written uh, on May 25th by Randy Hiller, MPP of Ontario, who's independent right now and really the only person that I hear speaking at Ontario Parliament to end this emergency order. And uh, the important thing is, okay, come. So we're gonna read this letter. Then Latisha's gonna share some things, and then Lamont's gonna head out uh, march. So. No, 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 no. This is this is a letter. I just want. I need some women here too. Only guys coming yeah, up, right? Yeah, yeah. So I, I asked Latisha to come and share. And uh, this letter was written by Randy Hiller, who is MPP of Ontario. So we have uh, one politician speaking his voice in Ontario Parliament to end this. Hi everybody, my name again is Leticia Montana and I've actually been coming here for five weeks now and I'm very grateful to be here and uh, thank you Vlad for asking me to read uh, a letter from one of the few politicians that is standing up uh, for what is right and just guys. Before I do that though, I just want to say a few of my own words. Um, and actually, uh, last week I was here, I read from a Native American Hopi prophecy, which is uh, called, We Are the Ones We've Been Waiting For. You can look it up, I don't have the text in front of me right now, guys, but the gist of it is, you know, this is the time for us to let our voices be heard. Every one of us matters. The, the controllers that are trying to impose this inhumane agenda on all of us are counting on the fact of, of us not speaking up, not standing in our power, they want people to be uh, compliant little sheep. And that serves their agenda very well. What does not serve their agenda are people standing in their power, recognizing that we are powerful, spiritual beings, that we have a right to be on this planet. Yeah. And it's an inalienable right. We came here, we have our own missions, our own reasons for being, and that is not something some other misguided beings can come and trample on. They can fuck off, okay? Yeah. They can fuck all off. We are gonna stand in our power, guys. We're gonna stand for our rights. We're gonna protect this planet. Uh, not by buying into their, uh, you know, lies. You all know what I'm talking about. A lot of you guys here are very awake and you know they have a lot of agendas. Side up agendas at play. We're not gonna buy into that, guys. They are meant to divide us and distract us uh, while they are busy imposing their agendas. And one other thing I wanna say, guys, about making your voices be heard, just recognize every one of us has a unique voice. Every one of us may resonate with other people out there, you know? Um, I've been inspired by people, you know, sometimes people have, people are self-conscious. They think, man, I gotta look a certain way. Maybe I'm too fat or I, I, I got too many wrinkles or, you know, uh, who's going to listen to me? You know, somebody will listen to you. Every one of us has a unique voice. And I've been inspired by people that did not look perfect, but who were authentic, you know, who were speaking their heart. All of us have that gift. All of us has our unique voice that we can speak out on social media guys i know so many you know truther and freedom channels are being censored but there are free free earth platforms that are emerging such as bit shoot library lbry um yeah. anyway guys we must persist we are fighting a just cause this is this is for humanity this is for the future of our children and uh, if we don't take a stand now remember there's that song if we what is it if we tolerate this then our children will be next. Yeah. Yeah. We cannot tolerate this, guys. We need to take a stand. Yeah. And uh, let me, I'm gonna now read this letter from our MPP. Yeah. It's easier for me to read it if it's vertical. Yeah. 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 Okay, so Randy Miller, MPP for Lennart Frontenac Kingston, wrote a letter to. Peter Weltman, Financial Accountability Officer of Ontario, dated May 25th. Dear Mr. Weltman, the financial burden outlined in the FAO's most recent report created by our response to COVID-19 is both unprecedented and illuminating. The exposure of the underutilization of our hospitals was troubling and leaves more questions than answers. 
In light of the insight provided by the FAO, I am inquiring for some further information regarding the financial costs to our province's healthcare system. There have been many indefinitely postponed procedures during COVID-19. You report, your report stated 50 to 1,000 procedures as of April 23rd, climbing at a rate of 12,000 per week. Wow. The costs, both in financial terms and in mortality, is necessary in order to objectively examine our response to COVID-19. Many listed procedures have been indefinitely delayed, such as cancer, cardiac, eye, and orthopedic surgeries. Will the cost of delaying these have a positive or negative financial effect once they resume? Were their funding allotments expended despite their cancellation? And has that money gone to other uses? Or is it still available for the necessary procedures? In addition, would your office please provide me with either actual or estimates regarding how many postponements, additional costs, and deaths while waiting for the following? Organ transplants, livers, kidneys, hearts and lungs, cardiac surgeries, cancer screenings and surgeries, orthopedic surgeries, hip and knee, eye surgeries such as cataracts, and finally, are you able to determine in its aggregate the total cost of postponed medical procedures and how many fat fatalities have occurred that are attributed to their postponements? With this information, we may better understand the speed at which we should open up our healthcare sector to better protect the health and tax burden on all of the people of Ontario. Sincerely, Randy Hillier, MPP. Yeah. Thanks everyone. Please stay strong and please stand in your power. Don't delay. Take a stand. Love you. Okay guys, thank you. We're going to do a march and then we'll come back. We'll continue with the speeches.